It's the Goodwill Challenge, y'all. <laughs> It is that time again, y'all. The Goodwill Challenge hosted by Hillary over at Old World Home. I'm gonna link her below like I always do. Be sure and check out her channel. Check out this playlist, y'all. It is so fun to see what everybody finds. They're out thrifting or searching their home for treasures, y'all. This challenge is so much fun. I have gotten some real gems through the years doing this challenge and today is no exception. Y'all, look what I found. I got this in February and I knew I had to pick it up and I saved it just for this challenge. It is a little strawberry canister, y'all. Oh my my goodness full disclosure i found one of these last year for the goodwill challenge too but it's different this one is more matte um and it's a little bit smaller and it was cheaper two dollars can we see that oh my goodness total score i grabbed it up and i had to have it and i put it down with my summer stuff for just this occasion i love this y'all it is precious and i can use it in multiple places throughout my summertime decor i think today i am going to use this in my little tea cart area so we're gonna get all my stuff out figure out what we're gonna put where and decorate that area i love that little spot it's such a cute little cozy corner in my home i love it and it's yellow which is gonna pair perfect with this red strawberry i love strawberries for some y'all i think it is so fun so i'm gonna decorate that and we'll see what else we get decorated but i'm gonna take you along for it all so let's get started okay i have pulled some more of my my decor out this is the spot that I want to decorate I love this little spot y'all here is my goodwill find and some other treasures I found this last year for the goodwill challenge I can't remember where I found that maybe an antique store I got this at an antique store this is just some little strawberries from Hobby Lobby this is a candle I got years ago from Target I made this last year I made this for a DIY I told you I would find a spot for it and I think it's gonna go on this tray I got this at Hobby Lobby last year I love that I wish it had some strawberries in it but it's fine it kind of looks like it might have some strawberries in there <laughs> anyway i like to use my kids um wooden blocks they don't know i do this but it's fine to prop things up when i'm styling this tray so i'm gonna get right to it y'all Well, that was quick and easy. I think it turned out pretty cute. I've got everything in kind of a little spot here. I like it, y'all. I did go ahead and add this little gingham kind of runner. This is actually just fabric that I cut, but I think it kind of ties it all together. I'm loving the strawberries, y'all. Okay, I think I changed my mind. When I stepped back and looked at it a little bit, I didn't really like the way this paired. There's really not much navy over here. So I'm putting this little DIY that I did with the terracotta pot to make it look like a little strawberry with a succulent in it. I think that looks way cuter over there. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, I know I said I was done, but I just had to put a few little strawberries on top of that can. I think that really finishes it off. And I did put a, a little block under this guy to bring him up a little bit so he can be seen a little better. I'm sure I'll change this 300 times between now and when summer's over, but this is what it looks like for today. I just thought I would show y'all one more little spot that I've decorated here on my table. I've just got a little watering can with a flower from Hobby Lobby. This was from Target. It's just a candle, an enamel candle. I've got some strawberries, a little kind of pretty little embroidered napkin I got from the thrift store, and then this home is where your herd is, and I got that from Hobby Lobby. I think the strawberries coordinate pretty cute, y'all. I love my summer decor. <laughs> okay, y'all, that is how everything turned out. I just love it, y'all. I love strawberries. I just think they are the perfect accent for summer on the farm. Thanks so much for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>